Greetings, brothers and sisters. God bless each and every one of you today. I hope everybody's doing well. Again, if you are subscribed to this channel, we are watching for our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. Titus 2.13, looking for that blessed hope in the glorious appearing of our great God and Savior, Jesus Christ. Jesus is coming soon, and we're going to be watching on this channel. Again, we are not going to set dates because we do not know when that day is, but we very clearly see that day approaching, and we will be watching on this channel until the trumpet sounds at the appointed time, and Jesus Christ comes for his church. Folks, we continue to see the world being conditioned to believe the lie, the strong delusion that is coming after the rapture of the church. There is coming a time, one day very soon, where millions upon millions of people will suddenly vanish all over the world. And when this occurs, the world governments and the leaders are going to come forth and they're going to have to explain away what just happened because all hell is going to break loose when millions upon millions of people suddenly vanish all over the world. They're not going to come forth and say that the rapture just happened. No, they're going to come forth and it's going to be something involving aliens or UFOs or something along those lines. It is not a coincidence that our movies, our television shows, our entertainment industry is filled with alien abduction reports, uh, UFO sightings, uh, the supernatural. People are obsessed with this stuff, folks. It is not a coincidence that UFO sightings are skyrocketing all over the world. It is not a coincidence that alien abduction reports are skyrocketing all over the world. It is not a coincidence that world governments around the leader at this particular time are coming forth in releasing declassified UFO footage. And it is not a coincidence that the Roswell incident occurred in 1947, just before Israel officially became a nation on May 14th, 1948. Now I wanna make something clear again. People are seeing something, folks, but it's not little green men from certain planets like everyone likes to talk about like you see on the screen here. No, I'm not an alien from outer space. I am a demonic fallen angel. I am not extraterrestrial. I am interdimensional. No, I don't come in peace. I come in the name of Satan. And my purpose is to deceive, harm, and to destroy you. You know, when you go to the book of Ephesians, chapter 6, verse 12, the apostle Paul records the following. For we wrestle not against flesh and blood, but against principalities, against powers, against the rulers of the darkness of this world, against spiritual wickedness in high places. And where are these things showing up? You guessed correctly, they're showing up in high places. Again, this whole UFO and alien thing really started taking off, again, right after the Roswell event in 1947. But just over the last couple of years or so, this thing has gone to a whole new level. And what I'm going to share with you today further confirms that we are being conditioned to believe the lie that is coming immediately after the rapture of the church. So I was sent this recently by many of you. Uh, this is a recent article from Mirror uh, titled, Harvard Professor Says Aliens May Have Created Our Universe in Lab with godlike intelligence and i wanted to make sure that this was a legit story so i went around to all the different sources reporting on it and got sent this from fox news look at the title of this article out of this world scientist who may have proof of aliens says humans will view extraterrestrial extraterrestrial life like god pay very close attention to what i'm about to read to you guys we've been talking about this for years and it's happening before our eyes. Listen to this. Harvard professor Avi Loeb predicted that the scientific discovery of an alien civilization, one that may potentially be billions of years old, will prompt humanity to unify. He talked to Fox News Digital for a wide-ranging interview that covered billions of years of history and even interstellar fragments from the bottom of the ocean. Loeb a trained physicist who received his PhD from the Hebrew University of Jerusalem at the age of 24 said it was arrogant of us to think that we are alone, that we don't have a neighbor out there, 
There are tens of billions of planets in the Milky Way galaxy alone, and hundreds of billions of galaxies like the Milky Way in the observable volume of the universe, he said. Listen to this part. Perhaps noticing a neighbor will be a wake-up call that will bring us together, Loeb said. Speaking of humanity as a whole, there might be many more neighbors that are far more accomplished than we are, and we can learn from them. So my hope is that it will bring humanity to a better place in the long-term future. I mean, this is incredible, folks. You have Avi Loeb, a trained physicist who received his PhD from the Hebrew University of Jerusalem, saying that the scientific discovery of an alien civilization will prompt humanity to unify, and that noticing a neighbor will be a wake-up call that will bring us together. And he's saying, my hope is that it will bring humanity to a better place in the long-term future. His own words confirm that the rapture cover-up is set up. I want you to turn to the book of 2 Thessalonians chapter 2, verse 6 to 12. The Apostle Paul records, And now you know what withholdeth that he might be revealed in his time. For the mystery of iniquity doth already work, only he who now letteth will let, until he be taken out of the way, and then shall that wicked be revealed, whom the Lord shall consume with the spirit of his mouth, and shall destroy with the brightness of his coming. Even him whose coming is after the working of Satan, with all power and signs and lying wonders, and with all deceitfulness of unrighteous in them that perish, because they receive not the love of the truth, that they might be saved. Listen to this, verse 11. And for this cause, God shall send them strong delusion that they should believe a lie, that they all might be damned who believed not the truth, but had pleasure in unrighteousness. So very clearly here, the Apostle Paul lays the timeline of events. The restrainer is going to be taken out of the way. That's the rapture of the church. And once the restrainer is taken out of the way, then that wicked's going to be revealed, referring to the future Antichrist. And then we go down to verse 11, where it says, And God will send them strong delusion that they should believe a lie. Here's what you have to understand. Again, once the rapture occurs, the world governments, the leaders, the Antichrist who will be revealed after the rapture, again, they're not going to come forth and just say, Jesus Christ just came to rapture his church, and that's where everybody went. No. No. There's going to be something that I believe is going to involve aliens or UFOs or something along those lines. They're going to bring forth this massive lie that the world, for the most part, is going to believe. Now, exactly how they're going to bring about this lie, I don't claim to know 100%. It could go something like this. You might have some sort of nuclear event or, you know, they're going to bring this whole climate crisis thing. It's going to get so insane. Then these things show up. They're going to say something along the lines of, oh, we created all life on this planet. Uh, you guys have done a pretty darn good job in screwing everything up. And we're going to usher you in to a golden age. And all those wacky people, all those Christians uh, who are against uh, the whole agenda... We took them out of the way. You know, we took them to another planet or wherever so they could learn, uh, you know, how to obey the system and, and whatnot. What we know for sure is the Bible says once the rapture occurs, the Antichrist is revealed, there is going to be a strong delusion and lie. The world is going to believe. And again, part of that lie, they have to try to explain away where everybody went. And it's going to involve something involving aliens, UFOs, again, ushering, in, ushering us into a new golden age, you know, something along those lines. But I had to share with you, you know, what I heard that this Harvard professor, Avi Loeb, again, who was from the Hebrew University of Jerusalem, so a Jewish man, uh, is coming forth talking about the discovery of an alien civilization. It's going to prompt humanity to unify. You know, it's going to be a wake-up call that's going to bring us all together. And it's going to bring humanity to a better place in the long-term future. I mean, folks, I don't know how much, uh, how much more clear it needs to be that the world is being conditioned, again, to believe the lie that is coming after the rapture of the church. And all I can tell you, if you're watching this video right now, 
and you don't have Jesus Christ in your life, just look around the world right now at everything occurring and look at what the Bible says. You will see several things are true. The Bible is real. The Bible is alive. Jesus is real. Jesus is alive. And Jesus is coming back. And he is coming back one day very, very, very soon. This current world order, it is sinking and it is sinking fast just like the Titanic. You need to get on a lifeboat right here and right now. That lifeboat is Jesus Christ in him alone. I'm not telling you to get religious. I'm telling you you can be saved right here, right now, as you're watching this video. Now is the accepted time. Now is the day of salvation. What do you have to do to be saved? The gospel of your salvation is found in the book of 1 Corinthians, chapter 15, verse 1 to 4. Belief. You're believing Jesus Christ died on the cross for your sins. The sin that, that you could never pay on your own. Jesus Christ paid it in full with his blood on the cross so you could be reconciled back to him, forgiven of your sins, and be with them forever in heaven. So you're believing Jesus Christ died on the cross for your sins. He was buried and he rose again. He resurrected on the third day as it is written in the scriptures. That's the gospel of your salvation. If you're still confused, here's the bottom line. Every single one of us is a sinner. We all miss the mark. We all fall short of the glory of God. And our sin separates us from a holy, a just, and a perfect God. But God loves you so much that he would come down. He would be born of a virgin. He became flesh. He dwelt among us. He was brutally tortured and crucified and shed his precious blood for you on that cross at Calvary. Again, the sin debt that you could never pay on your own. Jesus Christ paid it in full with his blood on the cross so you could be reconciled back to him, forgiven of your sins, and be with him forever in heaven. That is love, my friends. That is love. The bottom line is this. Heaven and hell are very real, literal places, and you will spend an eternity in one of those destinations. Hell's a real place. Eternal torment, eternal separation from God. I don't want you to go there. It's horrific. Jesus does not want you to go there. But if you die without Jesus Christ, you will be separated from God for eternity in hell. And I am going to tell you the truth because I love you. Jesus Christ is the only way to the kingdom of heaven and the only name that can save you. I am begging you. I am imploring you to get saved right now. Put your faith and your trust in the blood of Jesus right now. Believe Jesus Christ died on the cross for your sins. He was buried and he rose again. He resurrected on the third day as it is written in the scriptures and do it now because tomorrow is not promised and make no mistake about it. Jesus is coming and he's coming one day very, very, very soon. Keep looking up, keep watching with me and God bless you all.